All right, so I'm gonna show how to replace the battery on this MacBook Pro. This is a 15 inch model A1398, late 2013. I believe the mid 2014 and 2015 models are about the same thing. So anyways, uh, first thing we're going to need is a Pentalobe 1.2 or P5 screwdriver. And we're gonna remove all the screws. This one has the issue where the battery is inflating itself. Someone told me they call that a spicy pillow, but I don't know. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna need a Pentalobe 1.2 or P5. We'll also need a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. And then if we need other screws, um, we'll go from there. All right, so you wanna keep all the screws in order because they are different size, shape, and length. So the way I do that is I take the screw out and then I put them on my desk with the flat side down in the pattern I remove them. So you got this rectangular pattern. So I will just take these out. If your battery is bulging out like this, you do want to make sure to hold the cover down when removing the screws so that way it doesn't just slingshot the screw off somewhere, all right, or catapult. Okay, so hold the cover down, undo the screw just like that. All right. The screw is being a bit difficult. There we go. Okay, when we get towards the end, you want to be very careful because those can actually launch out. All right. All right. It also helps to kind of push down on the screwdriver as you undo them. Okay, almost there. Last few screws. screw here all right so a lot of times this inflated thing actually makes it a little bit easier to remove it's pretty dusty so I'm gonna have to clean this up and then I will be back all right I'll see you guys in a bit I use a toothbrush and then an electric air blower to clean out the dust okay I'll see you in a bit all right, so I cleaned out the dust the best I could. All right, and now we are going to get the spicy pillow out of here. All right, so we're gonna switch to the T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver. Okay, and first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. Let's zoom in here. So the way you disconnect the battery is you go underneath here and, oops, you can see that it kind of sticks out a little bit here. So you want to pull this up, all right, just like that. Usually what I do is I go underneath on both sides and pull up like that, all right? Now we're going to peel up this adhesive a little bit and we're gonna remove the T5 screw from under here. Okay, get that screw out. It's a little bit stuck because of the inflated battery bit. So I wanna, all right. And then there's another screw under this side, okay. I'm going to take that out as well. All right, now that we got both those screws out, the battery connector here is kind of more wobbly. We're going to remove the two screws from the speaker here, um, and we're going to do that on both sides. Again, you want to keep all these screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. If you mix them up, you actually can damage the computer, all right? So I'm going to put that, and then we'll get this one. This one is a skinnier screw, all right? Then we're going to go ahead and move to the other side, and same thing, remove those two screws. Alright, so now we got all four screws out from the speakers. What we're going to do, we're going to get a thin, flat pry tool. So what I use, I use this. It's like very flexible here, okay? You don't want to use something that's stiff like a knife. It has to be flexible. And also you don't want it too sharp. So this thing's not really sharp, okay? It's more like, um, it's actually designed, I believe for like a pharmacy. They were using them for like pills or I bought it like used. Um, but anyways, uh, they do have like frosting type spatulas like this where it's a bit thicker, um, but what I did was I sanded it down to make it thinner and then it's like that. But if you have something similar, you can use it. 
Usually when it's kind of inflated like this, it's a bit easier to remove because the adhesive is kind of pulling itself off. But we'll see because it's kind of a little bit difficult to get under the speaker there. So let's see here. Let me try and get this. Okay. So I'm trying to get between here so I can lift the speaker out because normally what I do is I grab the speaker and I lift it up. But right now it's kind of tough because the battery's kind of swelled up and blocking the way. So let's see if we can just go underneath here and scrape underneath the battery. Okay, so we're going to go underneath this way. It looks like it's working. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go underneath. So we might not have had to even remove the speaker um, screws. I'll show you why I removed them once I remove this um, section or lift this section out. Okay. All right. So here you can see it's coming out not too difficult. So there we go. So normally what I do is I pull this speaker up and then I get the tool underneath here. So that way it's not as steep of like a um, angle when I pull up the, or try and scrape underneath. Okay. So usually I would do that and scrape underneath the battery. Since it's inflated, then it wasn't as big of an issue. It kind of helped with that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and scrape along underneath each of these. If your thing is kind of like curved like this one, it's kind of has like a curve to it. So what I want is I want it to scrape underneath. You don't want it to scrape up like this. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and scrape underneath all the battery packs like this, just using this tool. Okay, and then we're gonna go up this way. All right. Just like this. Okay, so there we go, we got these two out. You wanna be careful with the center ones because they are a bit trickier. Um, it's slightly raised up, so if you can see in there, there's a metal um, thing. So what you want to do, let me see if I can show this on the camera. It might be difficult with these inflated pillow things. But uh, get underneath there. Okay. Oops, my hand's in the way. So underneath here, and hopefully you can see that, but it's like raised. There's a metal piece there. So it's raised up, so you want to scrape underneath that. Okay, so here you can see my tool is going underneath in between. Okay. And also when you scrape, you want to be careful not to scrape up this direction because there are little cables under here for the trackpad and the keyboard. So you actually want to go down this direction. Okay. So when you go and be careful with the SSD there, of course. Okay. So I'm going to use this tool and we're just going to scrape downwards. Oh, this one's actually stuck pretty strong. Wow. Okay. I'm going to have to push this against my stomach or my chest while I do this. Okay. So just like that. Let me zoom out a little bit, make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. Okay, just like that. Just go underneath. Just like that. All right, and just like that. There you go. Okay, so there you go. Cut all of that out. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. So we're just doing three on each side. We might have to do the same thing with here because I don't think I can lift the speaker out. Uh, I kind of can. Okay. So if you can lift the speaker up like that, get underneath, use the tool and then scrape underneath just like this. All right. I'm going to go across and just keep sliding it over until we get all of it out. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so now we got both, or we got this pack out. I'm gonna lift that up, and then we're gonna go ahead and same thing, scraping out this side. Okay, just like this. Oops, sorry, my hair is getting in the way. Okay, just like that. And then you want to go a little bit diagonal to go into here because there's this screw mount there. So like that. And then you can lift it up. This corner should just peel out just like that. Okay. And then now we got the last one. Again, you have to raise it slightly up and then go downward angle away from the electronics over here. Okay. All right. I might have scraped some of the aluminum I smell or maybe it popped. Oh yeah, those balloons are popping. I can kind of smell it a little bit. 
Okay, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna just keep scraping under. You wanna be careful with these. You don't wanna puncture these because if it gets the air and it kind of dents together, it can catch fire. So you wanna be very careful with these. Okay, oops, sorry, my hair keeps getting in the way. This one's being a pain. I've actually never had one of these batteries go on fire, um, but I have seen a customer that brought one and they after they already tried doing it themselves and then they burnt like one of these packs and it left like some melted plastic in there. But um, yeah, luckily it wasn't too bad, but I've never had one myself explode or go on fire. So, I don't know, I've had people always tell me don't use metal tools with it because you're going to cause a fire, but I've never had that happen. So, if you know what you're doing, you do it right, then you shouldn't have an issue. So, here you go. We got all of this. Set that aside. And now we're going to scrape up all of this. So, I'm going to use one of these plastic razor blades to make it a little bit easier. Um, you can use whatever you want. You can actually use a metal one, but then you might scratch the aluminum. Um, but this kind of adhesive, it's not as bad. You can kind of, once you get it started, you can peel it up. Okay, so I'm going to use this. The inflated bit helped because it was kind of like slowly peeling up this stuff already. So actually this is probably, the adhesive is coming out a lot easier than all the other models, all the other ones I've worked on so far. I don't usually see them inflate that far, at least not for these models. Um, I've seen it on the 20, 2009 to 2012 models. They get inflated pretty bad. So, all right, so just peel up all of this. Again, this um, scrapey tool helps a lot. Okay, just like that. If you want, you can fast forward through this part, but I like to show the entire process so that people can see like what goes into it. Okay. Okay. And you can see how much work if you were to do this on your own. All right, especially if you don't have like the right tools. So this um, this kind of stuff you can actually peel up using your fingernails. That's how I used to do it, but I found this thing makes it a little bit quicker. So start using this, but sometimes it's also sometimes it's easier to do it with the fingernails actually, especially with the weird angles. Okay, so I got that. Peel this up. there so peeling this stuff if you don't really care about the battery being secured down well um, it's not necessary um, but if you want the new battery to stick down well then you have to peel up this old adhesive okay and we're also gonna have to clean it with some rubbing alcohol Up. 
Okay, so here's the cable I was talking about. This is the trackpad cable. If your trackpad cable doesn't work after changing your, or if your trackpad touchpad doesn't work properly after changing the battery, you very likely damage this cable. All right, so you're gonna wanna check that. And you also want to check if your battery was inflating um, to see if it bent anything. Piece, and then we're going to use some rubbing alcohol to clean it up. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put the screws back for the speakers. All right. Actually, let me clean it real quick. So usually these the sides of the speakers get really dirty. So if you lift this up, you'll see like this little mesh here. They usually get pretty dirty, so it's good to take them and brush them off. Okay, I think that's like the air intake for the speakers. All right, so there we go. This rubber piece should stay flipped down, so let me make sure. Okay, there we go. This one needs, there was an adhesive there. There we go, it stayed down. All right, so let's go ahead and put the screws back. this put the other two screws back as well all right then we're gonna get paper towel and some isopropyl alcohol. The higher percentage you get, the better. This is 91%. All right. Sometimes you can get like 91 or 90, 99 or 97 or something or 100, but uh, it's kind of harder to find. But anyways, what you do is you just rub the adhesive with the isopropyl alcohol, and hopefully it's going to come out. This kind of looks like it's being a pain. I'm going to try and uh, scrape up the residue here to kind of thin it out all right so it helps to kind of thin out the adhesive residue because it gets like a protective layer of like dirt on it okay so scrape that up okay scrape this stuff up so you can see i don't know if you can see that it kind of smeared around that means it's working that means the rubbing alcohol is eating into it okay all right and get the paper towel again just pour some more on there you don't want to do that over the computer because you don't want to spill the rubbing alcohol on it there you go and you can go ahead and make this as clean as you want again it just depends how well you want the batteries to stick down I'm gonna try and clean it as good as possible. Okay. Okay, again, you can fast forward if you want. I'm just recording the whole thing just to show how tedious the whole process is. Okay. The center, usually here, it's a bit harder to get all this adhesive off. Probably gonna have to use a new paper towel because this one has too much of the adhesive residue in it. Okay, so I'm gonna get a new piece of paper towel. I'm gonna just use half of it. Get some more rubbing alcohol and we'll just continue the process. like that as you can see it's all coming out 
Or hopefully you can see that. Okay. You can also kind of use this to get the battery out, but I don't like flooding the battery with liquids because then it can get all into the electronics here and then it can cause problems. So you can try that if you want, but you want to be very careful. Usually when people do that, they take the whole motherboard out. You probably want to take that, well, then you can't take the trackpad out because it's underneath, so. Alright, you can see it's almost done. I'm going to fold it over to a clean side, add a little more. We're just going to try and clean up this residue here. You want to be careful with the trackpad cable there. Pretty good. All right, we'll use the clean paper towel one more. And we'll get a little bit more rubbing alcohol in there. Clean it up again. There we go. Okay, most of it's gone. Flip it over, use a more dry side to clean it up. It's always gonna have like a tiny bit of residue. I don't think it's possible to completely, you're gonna have to flush it like a million times if you wanted to completely get it all out. Okay. And there we go. All right, that's about as good as we're gonna get. Go ahead and grab the replacement battery. So it's always good to test the battery before you completely install it. So you can actually leave all this plastic stuff on it and then we're gonna just go ahead and connect the battery. So this one they actually put the thing up here on the other one it had like the plastic going down there but it works either way. All right so what we're gonna do this one they always extend it extra so let me show you how you do this so what you do is you fold hold this board fold that down and then fold the center up okay and then you can kind of push this over just like this all right there we go and now we're gonna go ahead and plug this in so it helps to plug one the top corner here first okay so I'm gonna go ahead and move that over to the top hopefully you can see Okay, once you get the top corner in, just hold the rest and then push it down. There we go. All right, so here you can see it's snapped in properly. I'm going to use the cover to kind of just hold it in place. Okay, just like this. Oops, let me zoom out. All right, so we're going to use this cover just to hold it in place so when we flip it over, it's not going to fall out. Open it up, and then you want to do a PRAM and SMC reset. So to do that, you do Control Option Shift on the left side, Power Button. So that's the SMC reset, and then wait a few seconds. Usually you do this when it's plugged in, you'll see the light if it's orange. If you do it right, it'll turn green, and then it'll turn back orange. Right, now we're going to do a PRAM reset, Power Button, Command Option P and R. The computer will turn on. All right, you should hear the chime. The screen should shut off and then you can let go or you can keep holding it until you hear the chime a second time if you don't see the screen um, lighting up. So there we go. The computer's starting up. You can see the Apple logo. Okay. So you should be good. All right. Let's see here. Is it still? Okay. It's loading. I don't want to show usernames and stuff. Okay. So there we go. You can see the MacBook is completely on. So we're just going to shut it down now. All right, if you're lucky, the battery shouldn't have bent the thing out of shape because it's almost impossible to bend this back. It takes a lot of force. All right, so we shut that off. All right, let's turn this back over. And now we're going to mount the battery properly, okay? So to do that, okay, I wanna check here, make sure everything looks good, like it's gonna line up okay. Let's pull the battery connector back out, okay? Just like this. Oh, it's kind of tough. 
There we go. All right, and then we'll lift this battery out. I'm gonna use the little blue tab. Okay, so what you wanna do is peel this off, just like this. It should come off easily. If it doesn't come off easily, they might have put this plastic on wrong. You'll probably wanna get a replacement battery because it's gonna be almost impossible to separate. All right, so next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is line up the little screw holes here. Okay, I'm gonna try and do it without getting my head in the way. Let's see if I can go from the top here. Okay, let me bring it closer to me so I can see. Sorry about that. Okay, so there we go. Make sure to get the battery underneath these little metal tabs here. Get that all lined up in place. So we leave this plastic on top so that we can get it all lined up. Okay, make sure it looks good. Let's get the T5 screwdriver and put in those two battery screws, all right? So it helps to put one first just loosely and then get the other one. And then if you need to move this thing around, you can kind of move it around just like this. Okay. Then you can hold it in place and tighten that down. Just like that. Same thing with the other side, tighten that down. Right, once you got it all in place, you can push down the battery pack and then you can peel off this clear layer. Just like this. That. Okay. All right, there we go. If you want, you can attach that to the old broken battery. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and plug this battery connector back in, just like before. Again, you wanna try and get the one top corner in first. It kind of make that cable a little too long. It's a little tricky, but get that one corner in. Oops, let me bend it back a little bit. That, okay. All right, get the one top corner in, get the other corner, push it in. There we go. If you want, you can take the little label from the other battery, from the original battery. Okay, this one here, you can peel this off just like that. And then you can transfer this over to the top here. There we go, so we got that. We're gonna put the cover back on. The middle will sometimes have the little snaps that you can click into place. All right, and now we're just gonna put the Pentalobe um, 1.2 or P5 screws back in. If you're wondering, the two back here are the shortest screws. So if you got them mixed up somehow, um, the two in the back are actually shorter in the middle here, okay? Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm gonna do the PRAM and SMC reset again just because I disconnected the battery. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like, subscribe, share my channel with others, and thank you for watching. You're welcome to stay while I put the rest of the screws, but that's pretty much it. All right, we'll flip this back over. All right, we're gonna do the SMC reset again. Wait a few seconds. All right, turn it back on and PRAM reset. All right, should be powering up, there we go. Okay, and that's pretty much it again. Comment, like, subscribe, share my channel with others, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.